Hi guys, in this video, let's see how to make a data flow task as generic task for query result set data export as files. So let's understand the issue again here. The issue is with column mapping metadata, right? So logically, we have to choose one of below three ways to resolve this issue. One way is update column metadata at runtime dynamically. So to do this, SSIS doesn't have any inbuilt functions or anything to make this logic dynamic. But still, there are some ways that you can find in Google which make it possible. We have to write a complex script for this. So let's check other option. So the second way is to have column names as generic. That means instead of the actual column names we have, we have to specify a generic column name like instead of the actual column name, we have to choose column one, column two, column three, like that for the header. And we have to use this generic column header for all the extracts that we have. But still with this way, there is a limitation that is number of result set columns must be same for all the extracts. So let's move on to next option. The third option and the easy option is match all the columns to a single column using any delimiter. This is the best way and easy way I would suggest if you want to automate the flat file based exports using Dataflow task. So I'm going to use the easy way. The third way that is I'm going to merge all the columns as a single column in the query and then using Dataflow task for the export. So let's go ahead with the package modifications. Now let's go to the query designer and modify the query accordingly. So convert all the columns as character type. and then concatenate as with a delimiter I'm using comma separated comma delimiter and then give a name as result sorry concat it's not concatenate so let's execute the query yeah so remove the comma at the end execute the query again so we got the result so our query is ready now so let's copy this query to the variables and copy into the variable command and then copy the header as well and then change the file name as invoice date so we're done right so now go to Dataflow task 
and open OLEDB source and go to columns so you will see the new column and click OK and double click on the mapping line and delete unmapped input columns here check that checkbox and click OK so now open flat file destination and go to mappings and you will see all the old destination column names here so let's remove the old destination columns first click cancel and go to flat file connection manager double click on that now go to columns and advanced and remove all the unnecessary columns so because we have only one column now we rename it as result so the column name in the output file has been changed to result and change the output column width to whichever you want it's not mandatory it will even though it is 50 it will consider maximum data type it will show it will allow us to save all the data respect of the size now click ok now go to flat file destination again and mappings so you'll see result so it's mapped click on ok to update so now execute the package So pack is executed successfully and it's loaded 1069 rows. So if you go to progress, you will see the path. So the destination file has been generated in the folder F and data extracts. So now go to this folder. So you will see the file. Let's validate the file. So here is the file. So there is a header with uh, the new header and data is as expected, right? So let's close it. So our validation is successful. Now go to query again. So let's modify our second query, sec second query, second reports query and Test the package as it works for all the extracts as we need or not. Let's convert all the columns into varchar again. So the size of each column depends on the data that we have in each column. So before you providing the size here, please just check your columns maximum diet maximum size or the columns actual data size and give it here Now concat as result. Execute again. So executed successfully. Oh sorry, I missed the column delimiter. Right. Now execute. Executed. So let's copy this query again to the package. Go to package and go to variables again and 
copy the query to the command and then the header and then finally the connection F file name so now close it save it and execute again so this time I'm not I haven't updated any metadata columns right it's considered automatically because the column name is unique so the column name is generic that is result so this is how we can make data flow task as generic to export all the extract files so let's validate the file again So header is updated and everything is updated, right? Yeah. So let's stop it. And let's change the name, file name as a generic name. Not the file name, the connection name as generic one like uh, ff flat file extract connection and save it so now we have done with the package development using data flow task for data exports